Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This is Coordinator27 here and I'm on my shaman today. <clears throat> and I'm in the Awakening Lands. I thought that I would come here and bring you guys a video today. Killing Dragon Fairies. Um, just had to get my buffs here. Make sure I have them all. Nobody's online, of course. Just get everything in line here. Make sure, make sure I got all my buffs going on. Try to turn down the volume some. Thunder isn't so loud. I came here the other night um, just to mess around, kind of get a feel for it, <clears throat> for the whole, for the zone as a whole, and uh, you know I like it. I like it. I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's a nice zone. It kind of reminds me of Emerald Jungle, though. It can get quite dangerous if you're not careful and where you're moving and walking around because there are mobs that, that are everywhere. There are even raid mobs in here, so um, you have to be cognizant of that as well, that you don't want to run into one of those because they will kill you. There's level 64 dragons in this zone, and they drop really good gear. So we just have to be aware of that. I haven't been able to find any groups here. Uh, of course, I haven't really uh, looked in OOC either. I got asked to join the old Seb, uh, not an old Sebelis group. I'm sorry, that's where I was at yesterday. I don't know why I have it on my mind, but uh, I got asked to join a Chardot group, and and I said no because um, if I remember correctly, Chardot is pretty much just a death trap for a zone. Uh, I never really fancied going there. And I don't. I don't fancy going there. So, I told him no. I couldn't go there. Um, I tried to find a group in City of Mist yesterday, and and I couldn't find a group there either. I was hoping to maybe get to to the top level of whatever camp that's called, but I'm not really sure on how to get how to get to the top. Uh, I could see. Above, when I looked in the sky, I could see all kinds of different ramps leading to different places and wraiths and stuff up there, but I just don't know how to get up there. So, uh, decided I'd come here, and uh, I got the Awakening Lands tooth. So that way I could just get ported straight, straight to here the next time that I want to come. Uh, I don't have to you know, struggle, and, you know, go to ice-clad ocean and all that, and, you know, run around, I had to run here, and then the video, the last video, I may upload it, I may not upload it, I don't know, I'm kind of debating on it, because I didn't, overall as a whole, I didn't really like the video, that's why I'm making another one, however, something really cool happened, uh, I was messing around in the in the forest here, and I got to this place. It was like sort of like a tower, <clears throat> and at the top of it, I had you something that you could click, and and that takes you to the plane of growth. But uh, there were these fawns that were standing there, and they're kind of like demons, demon humanoids. Um, and so I thought they call them blue. Well, I'm just gonna attack one. So I go to attack one, and uh, they, you know, they uh, they actually aggroed me. I didn't even get the chance to have a jump on them. Uh, I was trying to single pull, but I got too close. So they both came at me, and they were hitting me for 152 damage apiece. And so I said, holy shit, you know. I started running, and uh, man, I made it all the way across this all the way across the zone, uh, 
I didn't really know where the hell I was going either. So I was just running through here, not knowing where the hell I was going, where it would take me, how I would get to the zone. I just thought, well, maybe if I run far enough down this way, the way I'm going now that you guys are seeing me go, then I'll come back to the uh, to the Kale entrance, you know, the city of the giants. What happened was I found this little place, and it's the Sky Shrine entrance. The Sky Shrine is right in here. So I was approaching this, and I mean they're far back. They're way, they're way back. They're I got Spirit of Wolf, and I'm not encumbered. I'm out running them like crazy. See, I'm even out running the Dragon Fairy, and you know they're they're somewhere in the forest, but they're coming. That's the bottom line. And I aggroed a couple of other mobs along the way too. I think I aggroed two different two fairies little um pixie fairies in this in this uh forest <clears throat> so uh i was freaking out i was like oh shit man oh shit oh shit oh shit you know and um just dropped a lot of language i was like oh my god i can't believe that uh i found this place you know so as i was going in the tunnel i said watch this be some cave where there's like some goose or something, you know. Watch it be a cave of goose or something crazy like that. So I go in there and it's it's not. It's fine. You know, I'm I'm running in there and I zone out and I'm like, thank God. <laughs> thank God, because I would have died for sure. Absolutely one hundred percent would have died. So um So there was that. Um but I made it. So that's all that matters. This is actually a pretty good experience uh, in this in this place here. Um, I really like the area. Um, thank you uh, for recommending this area for me. Um, so uh, yeah, I had uh, actually I had quite a few. Uh, YouTubers that watch my videos message me and uh, I got some requests to uh, to level up here to actually make a video so I decided that based off the feedback I got it'd be a good idea to do that so and lo and behold it's pretty good I don't really ever mess around with Velas too much So, really my first time here in the Awakening Lands. I'm learning the zone, though. I learn, ra I learn rather quickly um, when it comes to new areas. I'm, I'm a quick learner, fast, fast learner when it comes to learning uh, the lay of the land and where to go. I just always caught on like that. I never, was, I never, never used to be like that back on live. I always had to use the map but um, times have changed <laughs> times have changed for me I've evolved as a player so the fairy dragons they're easy to kill and they drop gems for Velas they drop the Velas gems they drop the, that means they drop the crushed marbles the crushed sapphires and stuff, and they sell for a, for a decent amount, I think. Um, you know, in East Common Lands or wherever you want to sell them at, I think they're used. <clears throat> obviously, they must be used for jewel crafting or something like that. Um, I would I would say, although I'm not really sure. I've never looked up exactly what their use is for. That's just just a guess. Some new music. Different different music in different parts of the uh, forest here. Interesting. There, that's one of the little pixies that, that attacked me. It was a messenger. As you see in front of me there. Uh-oh. I have an ad. That's not good. That's never good. When you have an ad like that, that's never a good thing. And she's a caster, too. Oh, God.
I'm a little worried because of my mana. My pet's acting up. What the hell is he doing? Uh-oh, I just sent him. I just made him go away. Damn it! I hate that. And you're so, oh shit. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to zone this stuff. Let's hope I don't get rooted. Stupid caster. God, I hate that. Okay, so I'm going to chill in here and go get me something to drink and I'll be back and I'm just going to mana, mana up because obviously, you know, I won't be able to cast a pet without going completely out of mana here. I'm going to have to waste time. I hate wasting time. I like to do things effectively and efficiently. Apparently, Sky Shrine is a place where you can raise your reputation with the dragons. So, you know, you got three different factions. You got the Coldane, which are the dwarves. You got your... Sky Shrine faction, which is your dragons. And you have your Kale faction, which is basically your giants. And you pick an alignment and you go with it. And once you uh once you picked your alignment who you want to be friends with, you know, you kill the opposite. Like you kill dwarves. If you want to be friends with the with the uh giants, just go kill a bunch of dwarves. Ruin that faction. <clears throat> Still won't be welcome in their city, but you'll be welcome in the other city. So that's why there there are major cities. Sky Shrine is essentially like a city, just like uh, just like uh, Kale is, and uh, wherever the the dwarf city is here. So um, you can't enter them right away. You have to work on your faction before you can just walk up in there and where they're self, they'll sell to you. But uh, if you want to go the easiest route, you typically go Coldane because uh, their faction is the easiest to gain since the others hate you so much already. Automatically. They automatically don't like you. But me, being the kind of person I am, uh, I'd probably go with the Giant faction or maybe even the Sky Shrine faction. Um... I'm not really sure how you raise your Sky Shrine faction. I don't know if you could just kill uh, like giants and it does the same thing for the Sky Shrine and the Coldane. I'm not really sure how that works or if you kill the Coldane and it raises your Kale and your Sky Shrine faction. <clears throat> I'm still quite a newbie to all this. So I don't know a whole lot about uh, factions and stuff. So I'm just trying to get back into the game and figure things out in Velas because I do need to do things in Velas that I haven't done yet that I would like to do. Um, I'd like to pick a faction and and uh, start a quest and stuff. And I also need to get my epic. I need to get that done. Um, I need to get that finished. So there's a lot I have to do. There's a lot on the menu. Of things to do and I'll be back welcome back guys I am back in action with you 100 mana ready to rock and roll so I went to the uh, to the high keep nobles camp and I was able to break that pretty well but over time it started to be strenuous on my mana so I said you know what let me just let me just come here try this I hope you are all good today 
I hope you enjoy this video when I post it. I'm looking for I'm looking for my venom of the snake. Cast that after I cast haste for the pit. Ready to rock and roll. There's a guy killing stuff here. I don't know if he's killing fairies or not, but uh, hopefully he's not. Hopefully he's just sticking to whatever is around. And I hope this isn't really. I hope this isn't a camp. I don't really know of any areas that are camps around here. I've just kind of come in here and try to kill things, notably the fairies. Great, my, looks like my region's running out. Start him up. Gotta get region back on myself. There's not that many players here compared to last night because I think a lot of people were just raiding, killing, you know, or just doing faction stuff around here. Almost dead, anyways. Ooh, crushed Janus gym. Nice. See, they drop all these gems. I have to look them up. Look them up on uh, that EverQuest uh, auction thing. Uh, um, A Hungry. That's what it's called. It's called A Hungry. Oh shit. Hope I don't get too. Yeah, I really need to get into this faction thing. I feel like I'm so behind in Velas. I just... Uh, when it came out, I didn't really do anything. I just kind of stuck to what I knew. The same old things. Didn't do anything exciting. This is exciting. New continent. I hadn't really ever explored it, really. Even back on live, I never really touched Velas that much, and if at all. People were 
remembering that it was such a great expansion. I never, it's so sad that I never got to fully experience it myself, you know. <clears throat> you know, I played back then, I just didn't really have the desire. I liked, I enjoyed Kunark and the old world so much that that's just kind of where I stayed at, was those places I kind of just enjoyed it. But Project 99 has brought me places where I had never been before. Even in the old world, I never visited Mistmore. I never leveled in Mistmore before until I made a character on Project 99. Well, this is my third, second or third character that I made. My first character I ever made was a ranger. I guess I wanted to try to play the game on hard mode, but I decided to to go completely against it and just level up a shaman and uh, that's kind of what I wish I, I had played back in the day but uh, leveled in Mistmore I never touched Mistmore before so I learned a lot of new places in the game and you know I enjoy it I enjoy it a lot Some more enchanter pages. I believe the Grim War pages are the are for the enchanter for research. That's another thing that I want to do. I want to have another casting class, but I'm not sure what I want. I mean, I have a magician already, so like I said, I had the necromancer series. It just kind of stalled out, kind of stopped a little bit, and. Uh, I've been looking to pick that back up, but uh, like I said, I have these desires that I want to level a different type of character and just have these, uh, just these, um, intuitions to level another character. I got the alt fever, if you will. I guess if you want to call it that. Alt fever. Leveling so much. So many different alts. Trying new, trying new ones out. Trying to twink them. It's really fun. Twinking is. I don't have enough. Sadly, I don't have enough money for the big toys. You know. Like, I don't have enough money to, to buy the fungi tunic and and all that stuff to really just enjoy the game with the alt and make a video about it and uh, just blaze through things, blaze through levels. I guess I would make a druid because quad kiting is, is quite fast in a method of leveling and, and you make decent money, you make all that money back porting people and stuff like that you get a lot of good money some people tip really well and if you're porting in EC you always have somebody that's wanting to port so that wants a ride out of there I don't know where I'm going next, though. I don't know where I want to go next. I don't know where in Velas I should go next. So if you guys have any suggestions on where to go next and level up at, just for a video or, or what have you, please do suggest it. Because I'll I'll go there, like I said. still have to go to Felweath. So, try that out. See how that goes. I'll probably do that next level. 
I'm gonna take a quick med break here. Get some mana back, get some health back. Alright guys, I'm back. And we're at full health, full mana. I've killed a few mobs since uh, I've been back. But... <clears throat> Yeah, um, so I wanted to touch on some videos that I wanted to uh, do in the future. Uh, I want to uh, have a committed alt. I want to make a um, a video getting my epic. And I want to um, level up the alt all the way to 60. I had plans to level this guy all the way to 60, and I still do. Uh, that was one of my goals for this year is the, to uh, finally get my shaman to 60 and get torpor and all that. So I have a, I have goals this year. Hopefully, hopefully I can uh, accomplish those goals in the game and uh, <clears throat> make all those videos that I want to make. Really hope that I can. I'm going to try to play more often. Try to play as much as I can. I'm going to try to hit 54 tonight. Um, I think I can do it. I'm pretty close anyway, so. Um, hit 54 tonight. Maybe check out Felweath. Camp my, <clears throat> my character there and uh, kill some uh, Felweath guards later on in another video. See what the XP is like. Maybe hunt for a duo for the uh, Geo Caves around here. Maybe like a monk or something would be nice to duo with. That's what's on the uh, <clears throat> what's on the agenda for the upcoming videos. Not sure if I want to get an enchanter, continue the necromancer, or what. If I want to create a good character, like a good class, like a cleric, something that's bad but good, like a dark elf cleric or something. Because I can always find groups and duos as a cleric. Nothing like a shaman. Everybody wants to do it with you when you're a shaman. So, <clears throat> enchanters can get quite complicated sometimes, just with all the the breaks and the mezzing and stuff. It gets complicated at times. But this is not too complicated. <laughs> <clears throat> I just plan on continuing to play today, so I'm going to put this video up on YouTube and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a nice day.